Many authors and illustrators revolutionized aspects of children's literature, and a man named Ezra Jack Keats is among them. Ezra Jack Keats is known for portraying the lives of minority children through his unique way of illustrating. For his illustrations, Keats used collages and acrylic paints to develop his main character's environment and story. Keats received numerous awards for his books, including the highest award for children's literature, the Caldecott Medal. Ezra Jack Keats' life experiences and knowledge of children influenced the writing of his children's books and the lives of many others. Ezra Jack Keats was born to Benjamin and Augusta Keats, who were Polish immigrants of Jewish background, on March 11, 1916. The Keats family lived in Brooklyn, New York, where Ezra lived his whole life. Ezra's love for Brooklyn is exhibited all over his many books and through the lives of his characters. In the books, the city of Brooklyn can be seen with the stoplights, brick walls with graffiti, and other artifacts. Ezra started painting at the age of four and was highly encouraged by his mother. Upon his father's death, he found out that his father did support his art. Ezra found a newspaper clipping in his father's wallet, but the awards given to him. Ezra continued to paint throughout his childhood and teen years. He went on to art school and then started illustrating books. Ezra Jack Keats won several awards. Amongst them were the Caldecott Medal for his books, The Snowy Day in 1963, and Goggles in 1969. Many of Keats' books have the same character, Peter, living in a Brooklyn apartment. These books are prime examples of Keats using Brooklyn's environment in his books. In Goggles, Peter and his friend Archie find a pair of old, beat-up goggles and are confronted by a group of older boys from the streets of Brooklyn who also want the goggles. Peter stands up for himself and his friend Archie on the streets and is able to find their way back to Peter's home safely. Goggles provides a good visual description of the building and things lying around on the streets of Brooklyn. Some other books Keats is well known for are Whistle for Willie, Peter's Chair, Clementina's Cactus, and Pet Show. The Snowy Day is a prime example of how Keats uses the art form collage to illustrate the scenes in the story. Keats uses his own technique which involves blending two art techniques into one, gouache and collage. He creates lots of textures and patterns which he then cuts into different shapes to form his illustrations. Not only did Keats write and illustrate many books, he also kept up with his fine art. Here are a few examples of Keats' fine art. The majority of his works are done using gouache, watercolor, and oil paint techniques. Many of Keats' fine art collections are viewed in private. Keats was known to be a very kind man and enjoyed the delights of children. Although Keats never had children himself, he was always around them and loved to read them his stories. He considered all of his readers to be his children. Keats died on May 6, 1983, next to his best friend, Martin Pope.